Hello everyone, welcome to a Dewey's World channel. Here our first topic is a polio. Polio is an infectious disease that is spread from a person to person primarily via the fecal oral route. In the Greek words it's also called as poliomyelitis. Here the polio means a grey or a myelitis means some marrow or a spinal cord. Poliomyelitis basically it's denote the inflammation inflammation of a spinal cord that's also causes a grey matter. Now we are talking about the etiology. Etiology basically it's it, it is caused by by picornavirus viruses that is nothing but a small other insensitive viruses with the RNA genome the picornaviruses genus is enteroviruses and the species is polio virus now we will talk about the picorna virus structure structure as I said it's a single strained RNA which is enclosed in a protein capsid capsid there are there are a three polioviruses serotypes three polioviruses serotype first one is a pv1 second one is pv2 third one is a pv3 they are differentiated 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 by a types of capsid proteins what I want to say that these three types of stereotypes are differentiated on the basis of a capsid which type of capsid, uh, capsid protein are present in these three dif uh, different stereotypes now we'll talk about the sizes of the genome the sizes of a genome is 30 nanometer in a diameter diameter with icosahedral symmetry icosahedral symmetry in these three types of a serotypes the pv1 is the most common most common who encountered encountered paralysis paralysis as because the uh, it's encountered the paralysis very most commonly because of it is having it has D or a N antigen or along with this it has C or 
heated along with H antigen. Now we will talk about the how many uh, the classifications of the polio. In about 1% of cases, the virus enters the central neurons nervous system and infecting and destroying the motor neurons leading to a muscle weakness and acute flaccid paralysis. Depending upon the nerves involved in the poliomyelitis, uh, nerves involved in this infectious disease, the poliomyelitis classified into the three types. First one is a spinal polio that is about every most common and that having a 79% people having this and then second one is bulbar polio that's very less people having means 2% of a population population getting this type of a polio and third one is bulbo spinal polio 90% 19% people will get this type of polio now we'll talk about this spinal polio it's a most common form and characterized by asymmetric paralysis this first one is asymmetrical paralysis asymmetric paralysis that mostly often in a legs sorry it's mostly often in a leg 